He's going to say, go ahead. Go ahead and ask him. You know, he's waiting. And I'll just bow my head in, in prayer, and, and you'll hear some of the sweetest prayers of salvation that you've ever heard. The person will say, you know, dear God, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to pray very much, but would you, would you save me? Would you forgive me of my sins? But you have given that person the opportunity to make a choice. Sometimes people say, oh, I, I don't want to pray right now. If they say that, you know the Holy Spirit's working on them, right? Well, you, the easy thing is, well, you know, we'll do it later. And that sometimes that's all you're left with. But most of the time, I've, there's a gentleman named Mark. And I told him uh, he was he 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 uh, the God had worked some incredible things in his life. And uh, I said, so Mark, what you're saying right now is no to God. Oh no no no, I'm not saying that. Well, if you say God wants you to get saved right now, and you say you'll do it later, you're saying for now I'm saying no. Oh, I never thought of it that way. But that's the answer. If a person says, ah, I'll maybe I'll do it tonight. I'll do it a little bit later. I'll do it here or there. They're saying for now. Temporarily, it's no, but I'll think about it. And I'll at least bring that to their attention and say, look, you're saying no right now to God. Well, that's not their intention. Well, so if that's not your intention, then say yes. Let's pray right now. And don't put it off. And I know this man, Mark, when I told him that and I knelt down to start praying, he started praying. He gloriously got saved. All right? Bring a person to a point of decision. Don't put the decision off. If a person will not and refuses to, then encourage them to do it later. But while the Holy Spirit is tugging at their heart, do everything you can to bring them to that point of decision. I've prayed with people right in the middle of the parks. You know, guys going by, basketball guys. I play basketball with, tough guys. So well, let's kneel right down right now. And boy, he looks around first. I remember this one guy looked around first. His name was Kiki. He looked around at all these guys. He's like, oh, wow, kneel down right here? Well, I was kneeling down already. He just kind of went down slow and kind of knelt down a little bit, bowed his head, and he asked Jesus Christ to save him from his sins. All right? Because right at that point, you've got the power of the Holy Spirit drawing that person. Don't let that person go without every effort you can to encourage them to do it now. All right? Do it now. Jesus Christ is waiting to hear from them. All right? Salvation only occurs when the Holy Spirit's conviction is present. A person could put it off, and that's what my friend Mark was, and his intention was. He felt this. He, he told me later, he said, well, I, I just felt something I just never felt before. He said, I just wanted to get away from you, Nick, because I just wanted you to get back in my car and just kind of get com my composure again. Because people that are unsaved, when they feel the power of the Holy Spirit tugging at them, it's an experience they're not familiar with. All right? And if they can kind of push the Holy Spirit off, and get away from it, the, ch the, the chance of them getting saved drops considerably. All right? They're not going to get saved unless the Holy Spirit's drawing them. And I, I wouldn't encourage someone to put that off. I want to just to review, just to review, I want to go over those few, th few things again. One is notice divine appointments. Take time out of your schedule to speak to someone in those divine appointments. Begin a conversation Transition from transition to spiritual things. Point out that they have a need. They don't know where they're spending eternity. Uh, ask their permission to share what the Bible says. Ask questions of what they know about Jesus Christ. Give them an illustration of what faith and trusting Christ is like. Either calling out to him if, uh, in a swimming pool, like calling the Savior, you could call Jesus Christ right now or, or going to Numbers 21. There's, there's other passages. Those are just a couple. But give them an illustration how someone else received Christ as their Savior. Invite them to call on Jesus Christ. And then for you, if you know they're this far along, then begin in prayer and say, let's pray right now. And just go down and start praying. And if they say, well, I don't know what to say, Make it real clear. Just, just talk to God like you're talking to me. You are the light of this world. You are the light of this world. Which kind of Christian are you going to be like? Which best describes you? 
The one that's out there trying to shine? Or the secret one that you can't hardly see? What's going on in there? All right? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Be a witness. You can say, well, I, I, I can't do it the same way as you can. Do something. Do something. It's probably, you know, God can use it. God will use it. And you'll get better at how you present it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that your word would touch our hearts, that we would be sensitive, Lord, to when your Holy Spirit gives us a divine appointment to be a witness for you. And, Lord, that when we have those appointments, that we would bring that person to a point of decision where they would make a choice to receive you personally as their Savior. Is there anyone here tonight that does not know 100% that Jesus Christ is their Savior? You'd like me to pray for you. Let me see your hand. If you're not sure, say, Nick, I'm not really sure that I'm saved. I don't know where I'm going to spend eternity. Would you pray for me? Let me see your hand. Anyone like that? All right. All right. God bless you. All right. You say, Nick, God is... God has touched my heart this morning. I need to be a better witness than I've been. I, I need to be praying that the Lord would send laborers into his field, that he would give me boldness. Please pray for me. Let me see your hand. All right. Put your hands down. I want to encourage you tonight, to, to this morning, that you would look for divine appointments. If you ask God for them, he will give them to you. And then you need to to begin to be a witness and shine your light uh, and ask people to call on the name of the Lord. Let's stand and uh, amen. And uh, we will be singing where? 381. Page 381 as you're all on the altar. <laughs> Set for 